Hey Cancer and welcome to October. So I know it's the middle of the month already. It's October 15th, um, but there's so much going on in these last two weeks of October for you. And up until now, we've definitely been overlooking something. The Four of Water is missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Okay, and I sat with this card for a while, and a lot of you already have your name on this dream that you've been calling in and asking for for quite a while. Um, and if I'm being honest, this Four of Water is my least favorite card of any tarot deck. The Four of Cups is a card of being so submerged in something that you don't notice your blessings. Okay, whatever these other three cups are full of, we'll get into that. But... It's just very much a missed opportunity. And I don't want to say that it's a missed opportunity and that you've lost your way and like all of that, but it's an opportunity that you are missing by not being aware of what's going on when you're not submerged, when you're balanced, when you're... Um, when your mind and your heart is in the right place. Okay, so this might be a little more serious reading, but Cancer, especially Cancer Risings, Mars is slowing down in your 12th house. Okay, and it will station at the end of October. This will slow things down for you. And this is really positive, okay? The truth of this is it's really positive to slow things down because you're going at a speed right now where you're just missing things left and right. Um, but slowing down might feel like drowning, okay? You might be unhappy about things slowing down but trust me when i say it's so necessary for you to visualize for it not visualize for you to receive you've already visualized so much and this is really a card of a need for reception feminine energy reception okay men have it also um All right, Cancer. Some of you, yes, are definitely needing to find a pace. And it might not be one that is the most comfortable for you. Rather, that means going faster or slowing down in your personal situation. Again, this is definitely an energy of you just blowing by something that's been had your name on it the queen of cups okay this could be i mean no it's not could be this fourth cup here is the delivery of your long coming wishes Imagine everything you want coming to you and you having your head underwater too deeply to really acknowledge it. And that's not to say that you're avoiding anything or like truth or you know what I'm saying. I don't think of it as that. I think that you are anchored in a reality that you're not pleased with. I think you're looking and looking and looking for these things 
that you've been waiting for to come to you. And this could be a family relationship. This could be uh, uh, money. I mean, but honestly, it's probably all of those things because they're all very tightly knit for you. And so moving forward during Libra season, it can become this transition into Scorpio. I mean, Libra season's practically over. We have about a week left, a little over a week. Okay, it went by really quickly. I think most of us can agree. And this moving into Scorpio season, the thing I see for you needing to most pay attention to is your ability to receive exactly what you asked for. That's really what Scorpio is trying to pull out of you right now. Okay, your fellow fixed water sign is pulling these these things out of you because there's something you have to wake up to. Okay. It's eclipse season. There's an eclipse the day after everything moves into Scorpio. Okay. And for those of you watching today on the 15th, the moon is currently in your sign. What was I just talking about? Scorpio is giving you this grace period of like practicing receiving, okay? If it might not look like, if, if it's a seed, it, you know, it won't look like the full grown flower, but that does not take away the value of the seed, you know? Just because it shows up as a seed for you to plant, it doesn't, uh, that that is, that's that's your manifestation. That's what I'm seeing for you is like, you're not wanting to recognize something or you're wanting to move forward and like still keep some of the past, still keep some of that. And I really see it as like a, you need to scrap a lot of emotional luggage before you can receive or even see these things, even have the lenses to know that what you want is right in front of you. Okay, Scorpio season's gonna be pretty intense and I, I know probably everyone's saying that, but it is a very intense sign. Transformation, okay. Not to mention on the 22nd of this month, Saturn will be returning and for a lot of you, that is in your house of transformation. So when I say this grace period that Scorpio is giving you, it really is like, yo, bitch, wake up. Because it's here. And you got it in the bag. And the only way you can fumble it is if you are not willing to receive. Because not only do you receive your manifestations, but you have to have the emotional capacity the energetic capacity even the physical capacity on some situations to maintain the blessing okay you don't get this type of blessing or blessings and you know just like slush them all over the place but with a lot of activity the the activity going on with Mars, it can feel painful. You can kind of think of it as like a, an emotional disinfection for the, the rest of your life, your capacity to maintain it. Um, I do see things, but that's what happens in Scorpio season is things come up that need washed away Okay, Scorpio's not the bad guy for being the messenger of it. It's the nurse, you know, when you have this infected wound and she's cleaning it out and wrapping it up so you can go about, you know, your journey with 
some renewed everything, renewed energy behind what you're doing and the new direction you're going. So definitely things coming to an end. Definitely patterns being broken. I see a lot of you um, waking up to how psychic you really are. Some of you have been sort of denying the fact that you are gifted and if you already know you're gifted or psychic or you have intuitive <clears throat> powers, right? You might need to um go a little go a little bit deeper in meditation because I think there is a new gift for you that's trying to come through. Um let's talk about that high priestess in reverse. So it's it's more than just the tangible physical relational blessings um you're getting some spiritual blessings that are trying to come through with the space you make by letting go of all the unnecessary energies i'm sorry if i shuffle too loud sometimes i watch the playbacks and it's just like a lot okay world in reverse and the king of swords i don't think you realize how powerful you are. I don't think you realize how quickly your words manifest. I think you are getting with this Mars in retrograde at the end of the month, I think you're getting not to mention the solar eclipse. I mean, it really is a, a busy two weeks. These last two weeks of October are and we'll talk about, I'll save November for November, but listen, right now, focusing on these next two weeks, you really have to let go of the way you once viewed things. You have to be willing to step into that version of yourself and have a new view on the world around you because I don't think I think some of you are using the way of the world to justify the way that you are um, in some scenario in some situations or in a lot of situations and I want to tell you that the way you view the world around you indicates so much about you um, and that's one of the things that as a Cancer Rising took me a while to understand was my view of the world was, was fucked up. And I was the behaving in a way that a person would behave in, you know, a fucked up world where they need to protect and defend and fight and, you know, know all the shit to make it, to survive. And when you change, <laughs> you can't change the fucked up shit going on in the world. Okay, the war is like, there's no one of us that can change that, okay? And as you evolve and develop, you understand more your role in the save the world conversation, right? <clears throat> There's definitely a need to meditate for some of you. Um, there's definitely a need to acknowledge your relationships that you've had with people, with money, um, with yourself mostly. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Probably salt. But not all at once, okay? Just sort of get in the understanding and the viewpoint, the point of view where you know your self-concept is not overly confident, not overly anything like that, but just very sure of yourself with who you are now, like, moving forward and what 
this is what I have to say about this is how would somebody who loves themselves behave? That's what I've been trying to say. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. There's stuff from your past um, that's going to be resurfacing. That's what Scorpio does. Like I said, how are you, and here's the Four of Cups again, how are you going to ever move forward without really finding a peaceful place to let things just be? You know, this Four of Cups, I mean, it really is what right now is keeping you from it's the memories the memories that you have from however long ago with however many situations that come up because we're talking about subconscious stuff okay and i'll get deeper in the extended i really hope <laughs> you're following this because when it comes to subconscious work it's kind of like oh that doesn't apply to me oh no i don't see it or um, especially if you're denying some part of your psychic self, this can seem really unrelatable and it might not make sense until November and you're coming back like, where did I miss it? Like, what did I miss? And it was here. Okay. No, subconscious stuff, it can get really serious, but that's your block right now. And that's why Mars is, I mean, that's, that's, a consequence of Mars slowing down is we do have to break the pattern of these pathways that we've dug so deeply into our hearts and our minds for so long that we could have everything we wanted presented to us on a silver platter, but there would still be something missing. And that's what I hate about the Four of Cups card is like, it really is a shame. And not to be ashamed, don't shame yourself. I'm not saying that. It's just a shame to have everything you want but not feel the emotional satisfaction of it and it's it's something let's get into this in the extended um so for those of you here on youtube i want to do one last card and then we'll carry on nine of cups three of wands and the four of wands in reverse <laughs> so this is really gonna affect a lot of areas of your life i mean everything it's the subconscious okay that's your literal world projected um it's like the projector okay so we'll get into that be strong don't um don't feel crazy because all cancers are going through this and to be quite honest a lot of zodiac <laughs> A lot of people are, but this is something that's going to affect you on pretty much every level, home life, friends, work life, relationships, all that. Um, don't be afraid to slow down. Okay, I'll see you in the extended. <laughs> 